Hey guys, what's going on? So I had a request to show how to set up a new game profile in Jack. And how you do that is you'll go to Tools, Options, then go to Game Profiles, and then under Configuration you'll click Edit, and then we'll add a new game. So click Add, you enter the game that you want, the name of the game, Opposing Force, for example. And then we can go ahead and hit close. Now we'll have opposing force under the configuration drop down, so you'll select that. And the first thing we need is a game data file. That's an FGD file, so let's go ahead and find that. Now Jack should come preloaded, I believe, with this, uh, with the file game data for opposing force. If you don't have it, you should be able to download it online. For these, we're going to keep uh, texture format packages the same, map type, Half-Life TFC, and these are your default entities. So when you go to the point-based entity selection, it's going to be the first one that comes up. So you can change that to whatever you want. Since most maps need an info player start, we can uh, go ahead and find that. And then this can be set to anything as well for the solid entity class or brush based class so for example if we wanted funk wall to be the default that's just going to be the first one that comes up enable the game configuration we'll keep that alright for directories for the game executable we're going to go ahead and find the hl.exe so that you'll go into your half-life folder in steam and it should be in here go ahead and open that so mods like Opposing Force run on the original Half-Life EXE. Uh, now when we compile the game and run the game, we'll want it to launch into Opposing Force. So you're going to add dash game and then gearbox because that's, that's the name of the Opposing Force folder. Base game directory, we're just going to keep as the valve folder. For mod directory, we'll select the gearbox folder or the mod folder, which is called Gearbox. Select that. Source Maps directory. That's where you'll be saving your maps into. I'm going to go into Documents, Jack, and Maps. And you can set this to whatever you want. The Model Viewer. This is whatever program. This is a third-party program that will render the models in the 3D view. So you'll want to use either Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer or Half-Life Asset Manager. And you just want to select the EXE for that. And then Textures. These will be all of the textures you want uh, to be included for working with. So we'll go ahead and first get the Half-Life Textures. We'll use the base one. so. That's decals, half-life, liquids, Ceno, and I think that's good. All right, and for we'll also want to go in and get the gearbox ones. So we have the op4 wad and the op4 or the op4 ctf wad. Add those, and then we'll also want. the ZHLT wad which should be in the jack installation and those are good we can leave the texture brightness the same build programs you're gonna use the same ones for half-life so we can go ahead and copy those over I'm gonna apply and go back into half-life and you're just going to copy over these build programs okay and that should be all we need to do so we can go ahead and hit OK now when we hit file new we're going to get prompted with our game configuration, so we'll try Opposing Force. We can hit OK on the default room. And we should be able to choose our Opposing Force textures now. They should appear up at the top. And we should be able to select our entities from Opposing Force. So if we want Monster Pit Drone, we can drop it in there, and it should appear. 
and that's it. You should even be able to run this. So let's save as op4 test, and let's see if it works. Loads up opposing force, and it should automatically load the map. Thanks for watching.